Now guys, we're looking at these two wires over here. I'll just try and zoom you in. Might be a little bit out of focus. These two wires here, there's a blue and a white wire in this case. You could have a white and blue wire. And there is, these are going to be connected in the standard form onto our connector here. And if you look at our connector, you see the blue and the blue and the white slash up the top there. We'll call them, in this case, up the top from one from the left to four in the right. We're going to use three and four to connect this up. Now, the standard for this off, um, I think it's Scott's Guide. It might not be Scott's Guide, but anyway, I'll list it in the bottom there. It is, and I'm sorry about the reverse writing, it's a T568A which is the standard that we're going to be using. And it uses the center two pins on this to go to your modem. And in my case, I'm going to switch. In my case, and it is a Chinese modem and it only comes, it comes with a very high speed port here. And this is Wi-Fi 6. So I should be able to hook this cable here, which is a Wi-Fi 6, uh, a cat 6 cable up to my wall plug which i will now fit using this connector so what we do is we put these two wires in the positions of the n1 in our case in our case the n1 is white and blue and the other one is just blue so then we have to get a push down tool and push down the wires so they're firmly in position and then we put a plastic cover on the back to protect the wires and we might have to snip them off a little bit with our side cutters and then we'll put them into a wall plate and we'll try and fix up this because it's falling out um, I didn't put this together originally but we're just doing it now now, tools you'll need is either using the push down tool, which we're using in this case, or if you're making your own cables, you'll need a tool like this. It's a very old tool, very old like me. And we're gonna pop this on, pop it in and get it sorted. And then pop this into here after we do that. So don't clip that in yet because you want to be able to get it on first. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the blue wire first, just because you can. I'm not sure if there is a way around because you can get 50 volts on this line up to 100 volts. Now, it sounds a lot, doesn't it? But it's in DC. It won't give you a tickle. As I remember, I used to use that same tickle to, to um, get my friends to go underneath my, my parents' house, who my father was a linesman for Telstra, and I'd get, they'd hit the roof of the, the house and they'd never come back. I was a terrible kid. Anyway, that one's done. If you've done things like that, Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it from you. That'd be funny. I'm sure you've all got a great story from your childhood that I'd love to hear. Okay. And if you've got any questions about this, oh, by the way, to do this work, you need to be a qualified uh, ACMA technician. And yeah, this is only a demonstration of how to do it. This isn't telling you to do it yourself. You need to get a qualified ACMA technician to do it. I'm a technician by trade. And of course, I'm just doing my own thing because I know what I'm doing. And making sure that that is all the way in. And I'm happy with that. And that is cleaned up. I'm happy 
done with that too. They're going to sit there. And all I have to do is put this over the top of that. It goes that way, of course. And because I've got two wires, because it's the double feed, and that one's coming out, and I'm not really happy with that. I'll give it another press. go that way, try and pick up the wires and put it cover over the top, whether that holds it, I don't know, it should, yep, so that actually holds that in place, the plastic cover, and all we have to do now is adjust this across, maybe tighten those up, I didn't bring a pair of pliers, pop this into here, and Bob's uncle, but in my case he was my father, so we're going to get this all sorted and get it get two wires, get it all sorted out. The two wires are your communication, and I'm going to fit it to my new router, which is in Chinese, but we've worked a way out to read it and understand it and get it to work. So uh, if you're not in the mood to have a Chinese modem, well, can't help you with that. I can only say, well, why not? Yeah, why be like everyone? Okay, guys, this is pretty much the end of the video. Now, what happened was this is meant to go blue, but I've got it hooked into the other modem at the moment because we haven't got it set up because it's a Chinese setup and they haven't released a, a um, global, a global uh, different languages yet. Anyway, uh, that's not a bad thing, not a good thing either. It would have been nice if they had one, but that's life. Um, we can live with that. Uh, can use it if you plug it in through there and convert the language. So that'll be another video altogether. I've put the Cat 5-6 cable in, it's actually a Cat 5, I think I made this one up for, and it is a T568A, so it's hooked up to your blue and white wire, now the white wire in for some dumb reason is hooked to the red wire on this one, and the blue wire is hooked to the green wire. You know, and I think the white wire is actually a little bit of an earth. I'm not 100% sure, like a ground plane. But anyway, I've got it hooked into my Archer, which is hooked into my AX6000 modem. And it runs down to there. And I've just done a speed test. And around here, I normally get about 35 or 30-ish meg per, per second. I know probably people overseas would laugh at that, but that's fine. It's Australia. We expect lower rates of speed. And I've just put this new cover on. So it, I think I might have shown it when I was doing it. So yeah, putting the screws in was a bit dodge, but got it all together. And yeah, so I just put that in the middle for the moment and I twisted paired all that so that it's less but although this doesn't have any twisted pair all the way up to there so that's only the old RJ11 RJ12 cable and then it goes into a standard um, Cat5 Cat6 cable into the wall socket which I've set up there so eventually it'll go into the back of the uh, X, not X, a AX600, and it is Wi-Fi 6. So yeah, so, so far, so good. So keep watching and you'll see some more on, on, the, uh, on the modems, on the modem side. I'm still doing a lot of stuff with my batteries. I'm, I'm balancing some out. I've found a lot with... 
um, temperature variations which I need to fix the batteries in and I'm hoping eventually to replace put some solar on the shed roof and maybe get some more batteries okay catch you on the next one bye